Maxing out your HSA, brilliant or overkill. Hypothetically, if you're tossing as much cash as possible into your HSA and you're considering hitting the limits each year, the question you have to ask yourself is, are the benefits going to be there when I need them? Let's take a gander. First off, think about what an HSA offers. It's a triple tax advantage thunderstorm. Your contributions are pre-tax, the growth is tax-free, and so are withdrawals for qualified medical expenses. In layman's terms, the taxman can't touch it. It's like a Roth IRA on steroids, but for medical expenses. So you're in Portland, right? Odds are you're dealing with a high cost of living and the tempting Portland food scene. Those food trucks aren't going to visit themselves. Budgeting is key. The HSA becomes a little nest egg for health-related rain checks. Imagine you've been maxing out since forever and investing it with those average market returns. By 50, you're looking at a sweet $150,000. That isn't chump change. It's a health cushion that could cover a slew of medical bills or even post-retirement health costs. Remember, after age 65, you can use the HSA for non-medical expenses too, albeit with normal income tax. But wait, there's a wrinkle. Life is unpredictable. If you're as healthy as a horse till 50 and barely touch the account, amazing. But if Oregon's hiking trails throw you a curveball and you need that cash earlier, then it's also there for you. The concern is not to overfund your HSA at the expense of other financial goals. Balance is key. And here's the sneaky part. The maximum out-of-pocket on health insurance isn't static. It changes. So your HSA needs to be beefy enough to keep up with the increasing costs. And inflation? Yeah, it's the sneaky little thief in the night. In a nutshell, if you can afford to max out your HSA, and it doesn't sidetrack you from other important financial goals like saving for retirement or that tiny house on the Columbia River, then go for it. It's like building your own personal insurance plan that's got your back as you're munching on voodoo donuts and aging like the fine Oregon wine. Just remember, personal finance is just that. Personal. There's no one-size-fits-all strategy. But if you're considering the HSA max-out path, you just might be on the trail to a healthier financial future. Just keep an eye on the big picture and maybe, just maybe, you'll find it's the right play.